There are plenty throughout the building. You noticed them earlier. Uh, movement sensors, glass breaks. Um, uh, I should say motion sensors, not movement sensors. Same thing, but different. Um, so motion sensors, glass breaks, um, uh, and cameras. And they could be motion activated cameras. Oh, isn't that just ducky? That is just beautiful. But you have a security so, station right next to you. We hey, should be able to uh, turn them all off. Uh, hey, Paul. Mm -hmm. uh, they're motion sensor, yeah? Um, yeah, uh, the, the cameras uh, are mostly motion sensor, yes. So you like, this is a fact, you know. Or well, it it's pretty camera? easy to tell uh, what a motion sensor camera looks like, uh, but Nightbird could pretty well uh, have briefed you earlier in the hotel about what she saw. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if you're going to allow this, uh, uh, but there was a Mythbusters episode <laughs> where they were testing, you know, breaking mo uh, uh, different security alarms and for the motion sensor mm -hmm. the most effective method was just using a sheet and holding it in front of you yeah but you guys don't have a sheet uh, I think any uh, long uh, cloth that's able to cover us would work are there would there be any long cloths down there huh. um I mean I'm pretty tall <laughs> just, just, yeah. just, just don't look at me. Give me a moment. I'll uh, <laughs> give me some cover. <laughs> let, me the, uh, let me, let me hide behind the door. <laughs> uh, no, uh, see, don't strip. Um. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Yes, why don't you use your telekinesis to open the security door from the inside? I bet it's not locked from the from exit. Just push the door open. Uh, I can I? Yeah, it or opens. How's the security court? Okay. And then when you kind of step up one or two steps, uh, you see that there are banks of monitors for the entire building. Excellent. Um, are there any cameras in the way for us to get from here to the door uh, into the? I can turn them on and off. Well, that's the uh, thing. They're all over the place. But right. why, why don't I stay in this booth and turn them off as you head to the uh, third floor and uh, cover you essentially from here? Ooh, that's not a bad plan. So I'll just um, point, the, point them elsewhere so that they don't see them as, you know, um, obvious. In, 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 uh, you know, aim them away from you as you go through. Okay, now. So, they're, so that they're running, but they're they're not seeing you. What's the... Do I still need to go to the basement? We're getting there. We, yeah, we <laughs> might have to. Might, we might have to yeah. Um, okay. We might have to, to, to work our way through the, the bottom of the elevator shaft uh, later. Later. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, there, there's one other way to do this because once once Chris and Nightbird get to the third floor, who's going to turn off the security cameras for you? Yeah, I might <laughs> just have to send uh, Andon and Artarius and they cover them while, from here. Okay, that, that's a possibility. Now, um, you do have, Chris a security badge and when okay when you are a medic or a nurse or a doctor you are the worst patient when you are a soldier you do not keep up your area very well you might keep up your vehicles and stuff but your own personal area not so much so when you are a security person, would you make a sticky note with your codes on it? 
that's a <laughs> possibility, but I'm I'm thinking more that security people are the worst when it comes to keeping their own security. They might just keep the default zero 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 zero. Oh. <laughs> Give me a computer test, please. <laughs> okay. What difficulty? Uh, 12. 12. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Standard success. You got one point over, so that's really good. Um, you are able to use your security card um, to log into a station that was not properly logged out of. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are going to have to start thinking about this stuff. I can't. I can't save you every time. Okay. Uh, so. <laughs> hey, I got. I got him there. All right. <laughs> you did. You did. Um, okay. So Ginger's there, and she can kind of switch things off and on as you guys are going along. Um, I. What's that? What's that? Oh, I'm getting some oh, feedback. Yeah. yeah, I can hear it. Yeah. There you go. It's off now. Thank you, whoever did that. Um, so here's what I need. Um, I'm going to deal with the basement gang first. So Artorius, Rios, and Andon, I need basic stealth checks from. Okay, so eights. Eights okay. are a good uh, target number for that. Oh, so we're going easy instead of standard? Uh, yeah, let's go easy instead of standard. And okay. I want to get you three first. And, uh, Catherine, if you would please roll for Andon. All right. Which Ooh. roll am I rolling for? Artorius, that was nice. Uh, uh, roll for Finally. Rios first. Okay, which and stat? Stealth. Okay. Wait, why am I doing stealth? I'm out front. Oh, hey, why are you doing stuff? Yeah, You're out front. So, Andon, it's please. Just me and Andon. Yeah. All right. One well, second. actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why? Why? All of you can, can hang out here. Oh, wasn't she distracting the... Well, she the, did distract them. And, and, they, and then... They're going to be 45 minutes changing a tire, okay? <laughs> oh, okay. So, she can run on in behind us. That's good. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. So, so yeah. Uh, unless you want to stay in the in the uh, to to maintain the illusion with the Latter Day Saint folks, um, uh, you could come with the party. I think I'm gonna stay and maintain the illusion. Okay. Well, maybe she can make it longer than 45 minutes by keeping them distracted. That, that's possible. <laughs> that is possible. Um. And, and we, if it comes to it, we'll figure that out. But that's a little ways down the road. So then in that case, please roll for Andon Stealth. And if you don't have Stealth for Andon, uh, it's just going to be a, a Dexterity test. Okay. And it's, uh, again, the target number is an 8. Oh, that's easy. Literally. Oh, that's right. I put him on a regular character sheet, didn't I? Okay. Ooh. Really nice. Okay, so Andon does well. All right, so that's you two. You are able to get around the building to where you can check the same elevator shaft uh, that you think you might have seen a basement in earlier, Artorius. Okay. Um, but right. you're you're just there for right now. Hang on just a second. Um, you're fine. Chris. Uh, you also, just a target number of eight, and I'm going to do the same thing for Nightbird. Stealth. Stealth. Yep. Okay. Uh, stealth is down there. I just don't have to be loud now. Huh? No, we just have to be not loud. Oh, yeah, correct. Uh, That's with, right. Uh, ginger. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Oh. So let's see. Um, and she was left. Knocked over a potted plant or something? <laughs> something like that. Let's see. Second wind, coup de grace, and step A. So. Uh, I do have two adrenaline cards. 
okay, all right, would you be willing to trade? I mean, I've got two, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so I've got step A, which is good for dramatic skill resolutions. I've got coup de grace, which gives you bonus to damage. And I've got second wind, which allows you to recover five shock. Um, so I've which... already got second wind. Okay, so step A or coup de grace? Uh, give me just a moment. I'm going to grab a coin for this. Okay. Nope. I didn't declare which one was which. Uh, you declare for me, Paul. Okay. Um, let's go. Heads gives you coup de grace. Okay. Got heads. Okay. So coup de grace. Let me blow this one up and get it sent to you. All right. Let me get this to Nightbird. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's all in alphabetical order, but by character. So Artorius should be right there. Okay, pass. Okay, and okay, so he's going to go ahead and, or she's going to go ahead and play that adrenaline card to give her a plus three. Okay, so that, that allows for a success. So you two, uh, thank you very much, Remy, by the way. Um, no problem. So Chris and Nightbird get to the uh, the place that you need to be. Hang on just a second. Let me, I'm going to preload this, and then I'm going to go over so that I can pull Chris to the scene. Okay, uh, you don't have, a, you don't have a, a token there, do you? So, nope. uh, hang on just a second. Let me get you a token. Uh, possibility war. So, Chris, right there, and and then Nightbird, right there. That's weird. Okay, now you've got one free set of movement equal to your dex. So, her dex is 10. Or if you want to try and run, there's that too. So, what do you think? Are you going to run? Uh, now, it, okay, if, if you remember my description from earlier, um, you have, um, uh, there's kind of a long middle runner, okay, and there's rooms in the middle too. You'll have to kind of get around those, but your, your computer uh, security room um, uh, reception area is on the right hand side okay so your character is facing forward if you were to turn that character right 90 degrees uh, you would uh, you would be go this way um, you guys can go around the back if you want but I, I think it's gonna end up being kind of a waste of time because you okay, were here so remember you were here earlier so to go through here yeah yeah so okay so uh, she draws her sword, her electric katana, but does not switch it on yet. Okay, one, two, three, four, six, seven, uh, eight. The game's nine, paused. I ten. can't. Oh, move. hey, the game's not paused anymore. <laughs> and let's see. Actually, I need. There we go. That's what I need. Okay, and yes, that's right over there. Okay. Oh, that's right. Where did I put that? I've got to make sure that I, I got this in the right area. Um, hold on just a second, folks. I need to look at walls and stuff. There it is. Okay. So now let me go back up here. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly where I thought it was. Okay. So you were able to move a full 10 uh, based on your decks? Uh, yep. Okay. All right. Now we're going to get down to a kind of a turn by turn thing um, where. Okay. Let me get back to the dream time over here. All right. Uh, you, you stay where you're at, uh, uh, Connor, because it, it's just going back and forth between the standard Torg Eternity page and you at this point. So, uh, Artorius, what in particular. Yeah, 
are you looking for? So down in the basement itself? Or? Well, no, you're not down into the basement, but you can open the elevator doors and kind of look down the crack. Well, my goal would probably be to look down and make sure that this would be like the right access point in order to get into the area. Um, okay, you personally know how elevators are kind of built into the structure? Yeah. Um, there is, but you've also seen movies like Speed and things like that. Well, you yourself have, maybe not our toys. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, he, he might have seen a few and it's probably like, confused as heck. Maybe. Like, this, this is how I've seen the movies. This is how this stuff actually works. <laughs> so, what is like to me? Hollywood is life. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so you look in there, and there is kind of a, a a safety access point on the roof, but there's nothing on the floor, um, and there's no way in in on God's green earth you're going to be able to fit down in that little slot between the floor and uh, the floor of the building and the floor of the of the elevator car. Uh, the elevator will most likely not take it all the way down, so hmm. press the button and run out. Press the button, okay. Uh, okay, you which button, or is it just a random button? Uh, one that'll take it up, okay. <laughs> you know what? Okay, you know what? Give me a mind test, just a regular, or actually, you know what? Give me a find test. Find that's yeah. still mind, right? Yeah, that's still mind, standard. but yeah, standard, just a standard thing. You're just trying to think your way through this. You've seen how the elevator worked earlier, but you're not still it's still not entirely certain. Okay, let's see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh no, no, no. You just press a button and um let me see. Oh, where's where? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do it this way. Uh, okay. Uh, odds it goes up. Evens it goes down. Oh. Well. Oh, no. Evens. No, that that's a six right there. That's evens. Okay. That's going down. So, so the elevator actually starts to move downward. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. but the uh, but you have to wait for the elevator doors to close and you see the light of the the on the roof of the elevator as it's traversing downwards <laughs> what do you want to do or do you need a minute to think about it i look at andon what do we do <laughs> He he points at you're asking me. Don't I don't you know, know anything. I don't know anything about these. Uh, <laughs> but you guys <laughs> just just All right. So See if there's a trap door in the floor. <laughs> Remove the floorboard. Or, you know, there is another way to do it that would fit more with what you're trying to accomplish. Yeah, get out of the elevator on top of it and go down the shaft. But you would, you know, I, I need to leave you to think about that for just a minute. Okay? Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, here's what I'm going to do. I need to... Uh, let's see, Destiny map. I want to make the Kanawha office block. Well, it shows in navigation. I'm going to go ahead and make it available for all players. I, I don't necessarily want you guys to come over to this one, the Kanawha office block, but... All right, so... Um, let's see. Uh, Chris, are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, what? nine, ten. <laughs> okay. So that basically answers that question. It's it's taking time because you guys are actually on a schedule. Okay. 
um, and I need to keep you more or less together. Okay, so, uh, you know what, I don't think I need to stay on this page in order to see your dice rolls. So, I'm not going to worry about that too much. Alright, so, uh, Artorius, did you have a minute to think? Uh oh Artorius. I think he muted himself. I'm here, my bad. Uh-huh. <laughs> I forgot I left it on mute. Uh, beatings, <laughs> beatings, beatings. Ah, <Yeah>, sorry. <laughs> okay, so uh, did you think of anything you might be able to do to follow that elevator? Yeah, since I ran out after I pressed the button. <laughs> Uh, how far down has it gone? Aha! Now that is the correct question, Detective. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you you watch the the alarm light on top of the elevator. It's kind of a red, slow flashing, slow strobing light. Okay, and it continues to descend and continues to descend and continues to descend for what you would guesstimate is about fifty feet. Oh, that's a big drop. Uh, so I'm guessing it's like the cables and that kind of stuff on there, right? I'm sorry, what's for that? The, elevator. the cables for the elevator, I would be able to see it pretty easily. Uh, no, 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 no. The red light, no. like I said, it's, it's kind of a slow strobing mm -hmm. light. It's not going to give you anything decent. You All you're seeing is... is between the the closed doors of the elevator and the floor, the edge of the floor itself, okay? So you don't actually get much at all, but you just, you can kind of guesstimate where you're at, and it, it's about, it's probably about 50 feet down. I'm sorry, the light is probably about 40 feet down. The car itself is going to be another 10 feet below that, so... <laughs> oh that's funny that's funny I, I i'm not going to show that one because it's 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 got the one we're, we're still trying to do the family thing uh, what what kind of a chart is this again this is a intersectional venn chart, a venn diagram. venn diagram yeah so uh, if you're both stoners and D D players the sesh is canceled dude but you still have to roll it but you still have to roll it, yeah. And if act you're natural. A player and a <laughs> bank robber, act natural, but you still have to roll it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is funny. Okay, so so listen, it's nine fifteen. Are we going to want to continue on because we're we're not even to the hacking portion yet, um, uh, or do we want to try and pick it up? You you know like next week after we get to those positions <laughs> yeah Catherine you're not wrong a Venn diagram of things I find funny quote unquote and quote unquote reasons I'm going to hell would be a perfect circle I think somebody made that up I think somebody's done that um, just gotta find it that would be funny though yep <laughs> <laughs> So what do y'all think? Um, I, I want to keep going at least until we get to the point where uh, where Chris and uh, Nightbird are ready to kind of launch into a hack um, and to where um, Artorius and Andon can kind of find their way uh, to where they're thinking of going. Look to end in. Do you trust me? Then jump. <laughs> no, not really. Well, he, well? <laughs> he he he. When you <laughs> no, when when you say that, he reaches out and puts his flat palm against the the, the door, and kind of smacks it a little bit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> 
Okay. I guess I probably can't make an elemental and have it jump down top of the elevator. You have no materials in the <laughs> local area to make an elemental from. Now, you I'm, could I'm step outside. Uh, <laughs> that would be funny, though. <laughs> uh, decisions, decisions. Mm -hmm. oh, goodness gracious. Okay, you think about it a little while longer. Chris, go ahead and move <laughs> uh, some more. Uh. Now, you guys are just rushing towards the door that, that you saw uh, or that you came through on the way in while you were doing your fire stuff. Okay? Okay. Okay. So, Remy, do you need another round to think of it? Uh, would I be able to open the, the, the door it, itself? Uh, to look down you, the shaft? you might be able to. What kind of tools do you have that would help you do that? Um, I've got my axe and my hands. Okay. That's all I've got. <laughs> well, uh, your axe might help. Uh, what kind of an axe is it? It is a battle axe. Okay. Uh, single beard or double beard? Probably just single beard would be the easiest. Okay. Um, all right. So you get the blade shoved in between the rubber portions that that keep the uh, that help protect the doors from weathering and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. And you you kind of. Uh, leverage it a little bit to where you can get in there and and thrust his hands. Oh. Hmm? Uh, I thought I lost you for a moment. Oh, okay. Um, where did you lose me? Oh, no, not 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 very long, honestly. Okay. So, all right, you get your axe in there. You leverage the door yeah. a little bit, uh, and then Andon thrusts his hands in there, uh, knuckles together, and and kind of starts to push. He's like, I'm going to need your help. All right. I assist him. Okay. So uh, make a strength test versus a 10, uh, but you've got a bonus of one. Oh, I've got a bonus? Yeah. Uh, uh, let me get that in there. Okay. Okay. All righty. Oh. Uh, that was with the plus one. Yeah, you've got a plus one there. Die total of nothing? Why do you have a die total of nothing? Do you have anything selected? I, I did. Let me, let me try that again. Yeah, because that's not even giving you a die total. On hey, here, let me, let, me, let me try that again here. Let's try. Okay. I win seven. that time. See, that one gave a seven. It's still a failure, but it gave a seven. Oh, how do you have a bonus of minus two? Oh, the bonus number is minus two. The modifier is a plus one. So that gives you a seven. Your die total was seven. Your action total was seven versus a ten. Uh, it says modifier of zero. Yeah, I know, but I'm I'm adding that in myself because uh, Remy forgot to enter it again. Um, I did. It. I did enter it. I thought. Did where did you where did you enter it? Uh, where's <sighs> okay? You've isn't got. The, is it going the bonus box? Uh, it would it would go in the bonus box. Uh, hang on just a second. Let me pop this open. Strength. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, you would go to other modifiers. Okay, it it says there's oh. a bonus, but <sighs> I don't. I let me try something here. This is ridiculous. I I am putting the wrong thing. Okay, let me see what that does. See, it doesn't put the modifier uh, in there because I put a plus one on the roll. So. Well, would my would my would my adrenaline help my plus three? And put existing. Hang on, just a second. Let's Very go good. ahead and roll there. Does that give the bonus? See that that gave a bonus of plus one, but it didn't give a die total. It didn't even roll the dice. That's really weird. Okay. Um. So yeah, try and roll again, but in the other 
box toward the bottom of the window that pops up, uh, just put a plus one in one of those right hand boxes. In the uh, the effects box, or uh, yes, in the effect box. Just put a one there. Okay. All right, I got a one. Let's give it a shot. All right. Yeah, that uh, there are some hey! things. There you go. There are some things that version ten is doing, uh, even to version nine stuff, and it's really really weird. Uh, okay, so um. You manage to roll the strength test, and you and Andon are able to work together to kind of force open the doors. Um, uh, he suggests uh, take your axe and put it under the door to keep it from moving, to keep it from closing. Okay. All right. You slide that under there, and and there you are. You see the the kind of uh, strobing red light. Okay, slowly strobing okay. on top of the elevator cart, and it is. Uh, it, it's stuck where it's at. Uh, now you can kind of see cables when the red flash is on. Uh, and you see uh, to the right of the car, uh, you see a white light between the car and the wall. Oh, just a white light? Yep, it, it's a solid white light, almost like a, a standard light bulb. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> Look at it in the mask. I don't know. Um, ride the cables down? <laughs> you would have to jump over to them and then slide down the the oily cables successfully. Those I'll cables are typically covered in grease, the nastiest grease that you could get your, your hands on. And you will end up stinking to high heaven for, <laughs> for the next several weeks. Better to stink than to fail at this. Well, I want, first. I want you to take a couple of minutes and think, <laughs> about, uh, think about different ways you... Yeah. Remington would try and get down there. I would try to break hills personally, but you know what I just mean. Uh, you can try it. You, you can try it. Do you want to? Uh, sure. Why not? Okay. So this is God going. Have mercy on me. This is this is going to be a multi-action roll. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me let me kind of get to it myself. Um, let's see. One of them is going to be straight decks uh, because there is no athletics in this game. I don't understand that. Anyway, one of them is going to be straight decks. The other one is going to be strength. Uh, but that, let's see, is there anything that can be done? Nope. It, it's going to be two attribute checks. So dexterity and strength. The uh, the dexterity test is going to be standard, uh, so a ten. But to slide down the cable successfully, you're going to need strength to hold on, which gives you a penalty of two. So your total die roll is a twelve. Uh, Rios, do you want to figure that out for Andon? All right. What am I rolling? Okay, you're going to be rolling, uh, it's going to be a dex test followed by a strength test on a multi-action. So you're only going to roll one time. Uh, uh, the, the total test difficulty is a 12. That includes All the right. multi-action. Okay, so which attribute am I rolling then? Um, dex or strength? Uh, you know what, can you roll? No, you can't. Um, do you have the D20 Torg dice in your um, uh, macro uh, bar at the bottom? Yes. Okay. So roll me Wait, one okay. of those. Ooh. So that's 24 for uh, Artorius. So that's going to be a standard. Uh, well, no. It's going to be a success because you made it. But uh, why did you roll a strength test first? What? No, no, no! I, I didn't I'm, roll. I'm talking, Artorius. You didn't roll. No, I haven't rolled yet. Oh, okay. Well, let's do this dexterity. Let me figure this out. So the difficulty number is going to be a twelve. Okay, so challenging. 
multi-action penalty okay so that's taken care of so the difficulty number you guys are going to set you'll you'll click on your dexterity um and then you select a standard difficulty number of 10 then in okay. multi-action penalty it's going to ask you for number of actions and you're doing two actions so you'll click the radio button for two actions which will automatically put in a penalty of two and then you roll Okay, just X. Huh? Just Dex for me? Uh, you're going to hit Dex, and we will figure yeah. out if the strength makes it. Because okay. the difficulty number is, uh, well, it's it's going to be a 12 regardless. So if as long as you roll a 12 or better, you're doing good. So if, it's, so if it needs to be 12, do I need to put it on challenging instead of standard? No, 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 no. Okay. Listen to me again. I just want to make sure before I roll. Yeah, you're yeah, you're no, deep. I, I, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Okay, so hit roll. All right. Let me give it a shot. Ooh, that's going to be pretty good. Oh, what? Why is it, why does it say failure? Sixteen gives you a bonus of three. Why do you have modifiers of minus two? Okay, the modifier of minus two is the multi-action penalty. Yeah. The bonus is a three. Your dexterity is what? My dexterity is an 8. 8, 9, 10, 11, 10, 9. Okay, so that figured it correctly. That calculated it correctly. <sighs> hmm. Do you Why have... Why does that say 16 then? Huh? Why does that say 16 then at the bottom? Um. Okay, if you look at that, that's because that's your die roll. Yeah. Okay, you... well, what do I need to do now? Okay, so um, that depends. Do you want to spend a possibility, or do you have a card that will enhance your dexterity and or strength? I have the adrenaline card that I haven't used yet. Okay, use your adrenaline card, and that will get you there, because that's a plus three, and you're at an action total of nine. You need a 12, so that'll do the trick. All right, Rios. Real quick. Yeah, and, and don't forget to uh, hit the plus three card on your most recent die roll. Rios, gotcha. for Anden, All right. it's the same thing. So your your DN is is going to be a ten, okay, a standard ten, but your multi action penalty, you're going to click the radio button that's marked two, and in parentheses it says minus two, and then roll. Okay. Okay. And am I rolling on Dex or Strength? Uh, Dex. Dex is the first one. Okay. And I don't have to switch it to 12? You do not. Okay. But for your, you do have to switch your multi-action penalty yes, uh, to two. To yeah. two. Yeah. Okay. All right. I just wanted to make sure we're using this thing correctly. Oh, no. Okay. You are allowed to use possibilities and cards for Anden. Um, do you want to try and save his backside somehow? Uh, yeah, I can spend a possibility on him. Okay, do you want me to reduce that, or do you want to reduce that? Uh, I'll leave that to you. Okay. So do I hit the possibility button? Hit the possibility button. 17, that's much, Ooh. much better. Okay, so... It, it starts out that Artorias and Andon have kind of a problem. They hesitate a little bit to jump over to the cables. Um, and it's slippery to begin with. But then you guys kind of get the hang of it and shimmy down. And uh, Andon actually beats you down, uh, uh, Artorias, to, to the bottom. Okay. Quick, Andon. Oh, must be 930. Okay. So... Uh, that takes care of you two. Uh, now, Chris, go ahead and, and move forward another set. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the door. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Um, oh, nope. I did went the wrong way. Sorry. That was my fault. Okay. Uh, Nightbird turns around to you. And says, which console do you want? And she points back uh, at this one? one or one of these two. Uh, which one would be best? Um, she says they're they're going to basically do the same thing. Uh, this one is probably the um, 
uh, the 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 chief data officer that we saw earlier, the bitchy one. <laughs> okay. You want that one? And what's the other one? Uh, the other one is just more or less a standard console that uh, that uh, Nightbird says she could slave to to what you're doing to kind of help you out. Okay, that's I'll go for the bitchy one. Okay, well um, we're gonna go ahead and get there, um, but it takes like an extra round to do it. That that's that's okay because it takes what four rounds for for uh for sliding down the elevator shaft and uh so let me move this up here and i'm going to go ahead and and uh get it configured for where it's at so that we can do that okay um so this may not be as hard as i thought it was going to be uh because I won't need either of those two in there. So, uh, you, you, which of the two cards that you have are you going to use, or do you think you might search for another card? Uh, I mean, I could just take a cursory glance around, but otherwise I'll try the cards I have. Okay, um, well, uh, then give me an evidence analysis at 14. Okay. Evidence analysis, 14. Mm -hmm. Roll. Ooh! Okay, you're just looking around. Yeah. So you don't find anything. So, which of the two cards that you have do you try to do first? Uh, let's go for security. Okay. Highest one. Okay. So, give me a computer test versus a 12. Okay, let's just hope I got the bad roll out of the way. I hope so. So, the computer at 12? Yes. Ooh, okay. That's not good, but do you have anything you would want to put against it? Uh, I will add my... I know what, I'll spend a possibility. Okay, you want me to mark that off, or do you want to? I'll mark it off. Okay. Oh, very nice roll. Okay. Uh, okay. After a second of, of kind of looking at the keys and, and trying to see which ones are worn the most uh, and then figuring out, you know, where you might be, you finally determine what the login likely is. Then I noticed the sticky note with the, character, with the code on it. Yeah, I, the sticky note that has the top of it torn off and stuck underneath the monitor. You find that and kind of peel it off, and and you notice it, and and there you go. You're in the system. Okay. Now I'm going to give you something cool to look at. Um, well, yeah. I think it's cool anyway. Okay. Let's preload the scene, and then I am going to pull you to the scene. I know you don't see anything yet. Okay. Ah, black, my favorite. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, so here we go. Do you see where you're at? Yep. Okay. I'm in the database. You are you are there. Now I've got to look at my walls to make sure that you're in the right spot. Okay, so you should be able to see the word the words terminal yep. and root slash lobby. You can move into the lobby, but here's what I want to do. Let's leave you on the white square for right now. Do you guys want to continue on or are you copacetic with kind of stopping as soon as I'm done getting Artorius and Andon into I mean, uh, in yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching their backs, dudes. Come on. Um, actually, when they go down those uh those wires 
you completely lose them. Hey, um, then, uh, do they have their phones on? Uh, I would presume, I would, yeah. I, yeah, I would presume they both do. So, um. So you guys get a walkie talkie request, um, which is basically a small, uh, a small mild tone. It's not like one of those ear shrill piercing types of tones. It's just like a, something like that. And, uh, and so you can, <laughs> <laughs> you guys look at each other. You guys, you guys look at each other. You guys look at each other. Two people uh. from two people from really low technology areas, uh, kind of looking at each other. What is that sound? <laughs> uh. <laughs> we gave them to them. They've seen these in action. Oh, they've seen them in action, but but they're um. in an intense situation. You know, it's. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I know the name of this thing. I know the name of this thing. It's right on the tip of my tongue. Do you remember what Nightbridge shows what to do? A talkie walkie. A talkie walkie. <laughs> That's not walking anywhere. How does it work? Exactly. I it was a speak stone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, How do you do this again? I forgot what you showed me. <laughs> um, uh, uh. Wow. Just wow. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So here's what we do. You, if, if you guys are ready to kind of cut out for, for the night, I'm going to finish describing this and, and we'll leave it for the next time we go to play. Okay. Um, All right. So you, you two managed to pop open the escape hatch into the elevator. Fortunately for you, the doors uh, had already closed long before you guys got down here. Um, but uh, you you managed to to uh, open the doors by hitting the correct button eventually. Um, after riding up and down three or four times and all that stuff. No, I'm kidding. Um, you 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 managed to get it open. And you see a long, a long concrete hallway. The ceiling for this thing is about eight feet high, and again, it's only six feet wide. And there are uh, fluorescent. Oh no, no, there's not. No, there's not. There are uh, candle sconces with lit candles. So the light that you have is kind of an orangish. Um, uh, flickering light. Okay, I do not have a map for this. I did not expect you guys to go this way. So we're just gonna have to do uh, theater of the mind for you. Uh, that's fine. Look at Andy. We might want to step out of the elevator. It smells bad in here. Right through up. I'm sorry. Okay. So <laughs> now you hear boom, and you finally figure out that it's your phone that's making this noise. And uh, Artorius, I guess you answer and Q Ginger. Or peaches. Status report? I can't see you anymore. Uh, how'd you get in here? It's just uh, my voice. That's it. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry. I forgot my we Uh, we finally made it down to the, to the level after a bit of a hijinks and everything. And, uh, very dark down here. There's not much for light. Is Actually, it a big space or a small space? It's a it's a pretty big space. We haven't moved too far. We just got out of the elevator. All right. Please stay together and check in from time to time by pressing the button on the top of this device. Understood, ma'am. The green, the green button. The green. <laughs> yeah, the green button. <laughs> by the by the way, Paul. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure I left my axe. Upstairs. Yep. You and absolutely did. In the yep. elevator? <laughs> I've only got my bow and arrow! <laughs> <laughs> this is not great for close quarters! <sighs> oh, let's see. You didn't have to remind me about that, but now that you did... Uh... Well, I mean, it makes sense, because I mean, the door had to stay open for us to go into the cables. Right. Like, I wouldn't have the time to grab it. He is I'm not going to... I'm not going to cheat, man. Well, I think Andon might have some spare weaponry you could borrow. Yeah, at least have a knife. 
<laughs> you sound so forlorn. Can I at least have a knife? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, both arrows are fine, but I'm great for close quarters. I've got a dagger. That could work. I'll make it work. Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, all right. If we need to do it, uh, I'll drag over. Um, there we go. Let's do that. If we need to do it, I will. I will drag over a dagger for you. Um, but uh, what do y'all think? Is it is it okay to kind of stop where we're at? Yeah, I think we're good at a good stopping point, honestly. Yeah. Okay, because I I don't want to keep you guys up all night long, and I need to get up tomorrow morning, so um, not I'm, too early. I though. mean, I mean, I'll probably do that playing some Elden Ring myself. So. Elden Ring. Uh, yeah, Elden Ring. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Not yeah. gonna lie. <laughs> How many times have you died so far? I'm pretty sure I've already hit the thirty mark. Oh wow! Wow! I've only had a fucking day and a half. <laughs> Essentially. Yeah, uh, I've heard it's worse than Dark Souls, actually, uh, which is pretty I'm rough. Actually doing a, I'm actually doing a lot better at this game than I did at Dark Souls ever. Wow. Oh. Well, that's that's good. That's really good. All right, my friends. Um, to to close out the recording, say good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. All right. So.